This is Bill McCann from Dancing Dots. I want to demonstrate a couple of features of Lime and Goodfeel that might be handy for you. There are times when you only want to hear certain parts of a score, and there are times when you only want to transcribe certain select parts from a score into Braille. So I'm going to try to give you a quick overview of how to do both of those things. So I'm going to open a Beethoven string quartet example that comes installed with Goodfeel. It's in the Goodfeel examples folder, but if you're having trouble finding that in the public documents folder, here's an easy way to find it. I'll just hit the Windows key. Search box edit. And into the search box, I type B E E T H period dot L I M B dot L I M. Lime document last modified colon. Windows found it, so I'm going to hit enter. Enter. Lime allowed scripts version 9.16.6 initialized. Okay. First, I'm going to play it back for you. It's only nine measures, and it's nine very beautiful measures, even with the internal synthesizer of Lime, which isn't the most beautiful instruments you'll ever hear synthesized. But let's listen for a second. E. Ear specific. String quartet, first, second, first and second violin, viola and cello. Enter. And playback. It goes on for a few more measures, but you get the idea. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is and go, go back into the here dialog with control H. E, here specified parts. I'm gonna tab Percent once. Of mark tempo, here these parts colon. And I'm in a list, it puts you at the bottom of the list, which is the cello. cello. I'm gonna leave that checked. Viola. They're all checked by default, they're unchecked. Viola, because that's viola for you musicians out there. Space. Not selected viola, violin two. And I'm going two to more. leave violin two. Violin one. I'm going to Space. uncheck violin one. So all we're going to hear now when I hit enter is the viola part and the cello part. Here we go. Enter. And playback. Hang on. It started. Uh, in the middle there. Let's go back to the beginning. Bar one, beat one. Control H. E. Enter. Enter. Beat dot. So that's a nice way to study uh, how a composer puts something together. Um, okay, but if you decide, okay, all I want are those parts to be brailled, then let's do this. I'm going to launch good feel. By the way, maybe before I launch it, I'll just show you here in line. I'll do control shift left bracket to bring me back to the beginning. R1 beat one, treble clef. So the first part. Violin one. Is violin one. I arrow down. Violin two. Treble clef. Arrow down. Viola. Alto clef. Viola. Viola and alto clef. Cello. Bass clef. Cello and bass clef. So those are the four parts. Okay. I'm going to launch Good Feel. We're working in the line program that shows the print music on the screen. Those of you who can see this can see that. And we can put the Braille music on a Braille display attached. And you can hear all this talking score feature that we have. I'm going to go to the file menu. File menu. Quit. Alt F, up arrow a couple times. Launch good field. I'm going to launch good field. Enter. Beat.lime colon page one of one semicolon violin one. So when I launch good field, good Lime field says, intermediate dialogue. Tab format. Hey, good field. Uh, here's a part to, here's a piece of music to transcribe into the equivalent music braille. Format colon solo. In it throws me into the format tab. There's a multi-tab page, multi-paged 
and you can move through with control tab. I'm in the format and I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say I want to press control tab. Options. To get to the options menu, I know Alt C will get me to part control. Alt C. Part format control. PNLSG. PAR. So now I'm in a multi um, line dialogue. If I write arrow, INST abrev V1. Instrument abbreviation. Part. Mark V1. INST type. String. That's the type of instrument. Interval. Down. Intervals read down. Simple slur. No. Process. Yes. Process is yes by default, but if I hit enter. Enter. No. No. I don't want to process that violin, that first violin part. I'm going to arrow down now. Part two. Yes. I'm in the process column. So, but I remember that that's the second violin and I do want that to be processed. If I can't remember the name of the part, I can left arrow a few times. Simple. INST abrev, part name, violin two. Right, that's what it is. So I'm gonna go back to the process column with a bunch of right arrows. Process, yes. Yes, I wanna process, I'm gonna arrow down. Part three. Part three is what this synthesizer from Microsoft calls Viola. I'm gonna say, no, I don't want that. Enter. No. No. Part Arrow four. down, part four. Yes. Yes, I want the cello part. Okay, I'm gonna to tab to okay. Okay button, space. Good feel intermediate dialogue. Tab. Now I know there's a process button in this dialogue with Alt P, I'm gonna process. Alt P. Braille destination. This braille destination. I'm going to open that up now. Enter. Beat.gf dash. You can't feel the braille music on the braille display like I could uh, over the internet here. But the, the sighted people can see braille font on the screen, and I can hear Jaws can read it to us. The eight harp zero string harp string quartet Beethoven one produced using good feel translator. From tell three number Fodge E dash mail three URL blank. No, it doesn't read uh, punctuation that well, but anyway. Under the dancing, under under the sponsorship of dancing dots number BJBB left bracket. Okay, so that's our title page. Left bracket the eight quartet. But here's the the first page that it will braille when we send this to the embosser. Beethoven one. Blank violin number B. Violin number B, which uh, basically means second violin, violin number two. And here are the nine measures for violin number two. When we're in Lime, our talking score feature makes sense of these things. Uh, and here I usually turn the speech off and just feel the braille because it's just reading the braille. But I'm going to arrow down a few times. Blank number D less X two great quote greater two underline left the eight. Quartet Beethoven one. Okay, and I come to the next page break. Quartet. The eight. Harp zero. String number A. Quartet. Beethoven one. And let's Harp see what part this blank. is. Cello. Cello. Okay, so that's what we got. We got the second violin and the cello. We, we can go to the file menu. Alt F. Open. Save. Save. As. Save as. Now, I opened this little program when I clicked on Braille Editor. This little program is called Braille view. This is not line or good feel technically, but in Braille view, I can do save as. Enter. Leaving menus. Edit. And I'll save, say save as B. V. Space. Selected. Space. P. 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 Beethoven select B. E. E. T. A. O. H. O. E. V. I messed it up. E. N. That's better. Beethoven. Beethoven selected parts. Okay, that's the name that I tab once. Save as type colon. Save as type. I'm going to arrow over a couple times. Good formatted Braille. Formatted Braille. I'm going to save this as a .brf file. Enter. S file name colon. Ed. Goodfield saves it as a .gf file, and everything goes into the Goodfield output folder.
And there is a shortcut to that from the start menu, the entry of good feel on the start menu. But anyway, Beethoven selected we'll part enter. This. Beethoven's PC yeah, our cursor. Work, our work in Braille view is done. I'm going to close it with Alt F4. Alt F4. Braille destination. Braille pops me back to the Braille destination dialog of Goodfeel, where we originally Braille editor clicked on that Braille editor button. So uh, my options now are to close this, or if I tab once, copy to alternate location. I can copy it to an alternate location, like a USB drive, and uh, then take it to a Braille note taker, such as the uh, Braille note touch or the. Um, the Hymns Braille Sense 6 or the Key Braille or whatever you have, or I can go to the Embosser button. Help button, Embosser button. I can click that and make a hard copy version of it. Okay, so let's just Menu close bar. up the field though Escape. with uh, Alt X. Alt X. Lime. Brings, brings us back to Lime. And if you're not familiar with the talking square feature, I'll just give you a little taste of that. Violin, cello. The cello part and press right arrow beat 1.33 c3 triplet 16th slur to next beat 1.67 e flat 3 triplet 16th so you can hear it plays it and it gives you a verbal description of everything about the notes i'm going to go there's a braille window braille braille uh that's visible Lime. i hope for your sighted people at the top of the screen that braille window has exactly what would be on my braille display Okay, so if you want to get to your output folder, the quick way, well, there are a couple quick ways. I'm going to close Lime. Lime is quitting. Join button unavailable. Okay, I'm going to go. Meeting control, Zoom. To the start, uh, the search box with the start menu key, the Windows key. Search box edit. I think I could just type good feel output. G O O D F E E L S P O U T P T. Output folder. Yeah, I'll just hit enter. Enter. C. Users public documents music good feel output. Items view multi select list box. Not selected Beethoven selected parts. There it is. Sp Beethoven selected part. Hit space to select it. So I, now I can simply press Control C. Copied select. And then uh, open my USB drive. Press Control V, and I have it. Or I could also, of course, open up an email message and paste it into that in Outlook and send it to somebody. So I hope you enjoyed this rather quick demonstration of how you can selectively hear parts and selectively transcribe those parts to Braille. www.dancingdots.com. You can contact me, info at dancingdots.com, and keep up with the music.